In today's video, we're going to take a quick look at electronic project kits, or electronic experimenters kits, then and now. Now, I was a teenager in the 1970s, and that's when I started tinkering around with electronics. And this is very typical of the electronic project kits that were available back then. This Science Fair kit was available in the United States here uh, in Radio Shack, and I think they were called Tandy stores in other parts of the world. And this kit originally sold in the U.S. here for about $30, and that was in 1976. Now this was an expensive kit back then and included an advanced integrated circuit ooh, and seven segment LED displays. Let's take a look in the box. Okay, so inside the box we've got the book. We'll go take a look at that in a moment. But let's ta first take a look at the array of components that were available. And so we have a single pole double throw relay, an incandescent lamp, analog meter movement, a couple of audio transformers, a potentiometer, and a speaker. And we've got an array of resistors, some ceramic and electrolytic capacitors, uh, a little CDS photo cell, a solar cell, uh, a couple of diodes, a little uh, double pole double throw switch, a uh, basically parts for a radio, a tuning capacitor, and a uh, ferrite bar antenna, a little 9 volt battery clip and uh, battery holder down here. Well, then uh, three transistors. Actually, two of them are PNP and one is NPN. Pretty interesting. And the advanced integrated circuit is really nothing more than an integrated three transistor audio driver. And then a seven segment LED display. Ooh. And even included a little headphone and a little uh, Morse code key. So I guess one of the projects was most likely a little practice oscillator. And of course, the kit came with a complete book with 150 different projects for you to work on. Now each of the projects had a description of how the uh, circuit worked, a wiring diagram of how to hook up all the wires between the little spring-loaded contacts, and a schematic of what the project was. A lot of electronic prototyping today is done with these little plug-in proto boards, but that's not how it was done with this kit. Here, all the components are connected to these little spring contacts. And in order to make a connection, you'd simply bend the spring back, slide your wire in there, and let it go. And that's your connection to that component. Now, so as you can imagine, uh, when you hook up your circuit, it takes up a pretty good size area, have some pretty long wires. So it's a bit of a challenge sometimes to make some of the higher frequency circuits, like a radio receiver, work pretty well. But that's what we did uh, 40 plus years ago. Okay, so let's uh, fast forward uh, 40, 45 years to something that's available today. This most complete uh, starter kit uh, for the Atmega 2560 uh, from Elegoo is a good example of uh, one of the more complete kits that's available today at uh, surprisingly reasonable cost. In fact, uh, this kit is only cost about twice as much as the uh, Science Fair kit I showed you. It's about available in the US for about uh, $60 through Amazon. Let's take a look at what you get with this. Right. Nice little uh, tackle box type style of uh, container here contains a, a CD that has all of the uh, programming examples as well as uh, about a 240 page manual that walks you through uh, 30 or more different projects you can do with this kit. Now, of course the kit is centered around this Mega 2560R3 microcontroller board. That features uh, 54 digital I.O. pins, uh, 16 analog inputs, uh, and uh, enough memory and power to do uh, these simple projects as well as you know, complex projects such as things like 3D printers and robotics. For wiring up your projects, there's a small proto board as well as a uh, larger uh, plug-in proto board available, as well as a uh, expansion board that can plug right into the uh, R3 board. You can even attach uh, with the double sticky tape your little uh, solderless adapter on here if you want to reuse this board for other projects. There's a nice complement of uh, simple components. Uh, various value of resistors, as well as a whole series of, of LEDs and switches, capacitors, transistors, uh, potentiometers, buzzers, a couple of little ICs in here. Uh, one of them is a shift register, one is in a dual H-bridge controller for D small DC motors. So pretty nice set of just your regular passive and simple active electronics. And of course you got a, uh, a AC wall adapter, uh, various hookup wires, a 9 volt battery adapter, as well as uh, the USB cable to hook up the microcontroller to your PC. We've got some nice electromechanical components. There's just a simple DC motor with a, uh, a little plastic uh, propeller on it. 
uh, a, uh, a servo, small little servo, and some of the connecting arms for the servo for some little uh, robotics or motion activated projects. And uh, even got a, uh, a stepper motor with a stepper motor, motor driver uh, module here to experiment with more precise motor control. Some more uh, mechanical, electromechanical components, a little uh, membrane keypad, and a little joystick module. Another uh, a little relay, and there's a little uh, rotary optical encoder. There are several display devices, like a single uh, seven-segment display, or a four-digit uh, seven-segment display, uh, the 16-character by two-line LCD display, as well as this uh, LED array and driver IC for doing bar graphs and things like that. They give you a whole array of interesting sensor and uh, higher level function modules. Simple uh, water level sensor here. This is a temperature and humidity sensor. There's an uh, infrared receiver module. Oh, and the uh, remote to go with that. This is a three axis accelerometer and gyroscope module. An ultrasonic distance sensing module. A passive infrared motion detector module a uh, sound detector module and this is a real-time clock module with a battery and finally there's a an RFID module and also a power supply module this power supply module will plug into that proto board and provide uh, regulated power to the supply rails on that proto board now, overall uh, even though the number of projects included in this kit uh, only amounts to a little more than 30 compared to the 150 in the, the kit I showed you earlier Really, the amount of things you can do with a kit like this is uh, really up to your imagination. Uh, the basic projects that are here uh, basically show how to use each one of these modules individually. Uh, but if you think about combining things like uh, you know, motor drivers and position sensors and LEDs and other passive components and things like that into projects, you can quickly see how you can get into uh, simple robotics or other more advanced projects. So, unbelievable value, I think, for the $60. <laughs> Uh, compared to what uh, uh, this might have cost you uh, even just a couple of years ago. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Just a, a quick look at uh, the state of the art of uh, electronic project kits and uh, what you get for your money these days. Thanks again for watching.